Hannah, is it true that you're pregnant now? Because what I've picked up from the rest of the family, you are. That's right. I'm about two months pregnant now. So all of that really is true? Sorry for keeping that a secret from you. I was planning on letting you know about it once things settled down for me and the baby was looking healthy. Didn't want everyone getting all excited when we still weren't sure how things were going to turn out. That's fine, but I'm a little bit worried now. I'm sure everyone is worried to see how the pregnancy will go and if the baby will be healthy after giving birth to it. There are a lot of other things that have me worked up right now as well. Things like my health, eating habits, keeping stress levels down. I'm not talking about yours or the baby's health. I'm not worried about anything that has to do with you health-wise. What? Then what are you worried about? I'm worried about whether your baby is going to look anything like you or not. If you really do have a grandbaby for me, and they look the same way you do, I will feel so bad for them. And that's why I'm worried now. I am praying that the baby takes more from my son's look than they do yours. Is my face really that bad looking to you? Well, to tell it to you straight, you're ugly. Compared to my family's beautiful traits, you have a terrible bloodline. But up until now, you have never called me ugly at all. Back when I was engaged to your son, you were telling him how wonderful a woman he'd chosen to marry. I would never comment on a stranger's looks before they become a part of my family. <laughs> you wouldn't do that either, right? That would just be rude. You also happen to have a sense of charm to you in some cases. So I was talking more about how your wonderful attitude was then. Is that so? I wouldn't want to call you ugly when you've been taking such good care of my son for me. But as of right now, the only word I have for you is ugly. There is no other way for me to praise you, so there you go. I'm not going to lie to you by giving you false hopes either. That would just be simply wrong for someone in my position to do. I see. You happen to be a very charmful woman, but unfortunately, you are also a very ugly woman, and that really detracts from what charm you did have. And now that you don't really have any charm to talk about, what do you have, Hannah? <laughs> what about you is still good enough to allow you to stay my son's wife? He happens to still love me, the same way he always has, and that's why we're still married and we are having a baby. The real reason my son has stayed with you this whole time is because he hasn't given any other option. He probably just married you out of fear that he'd never be able to find anyone. But I'm thinking very soon here, he's going to really regret ever proposing to you and having that baby. I don't think that'll be the case. Ever since I met my husband, he has been the nicest man I've ever known. And he always tells me just how important I am to him. My son is a very kind man and he would never want to hurt another person's feelings. But I never thought he'd take things so far and have a kid with you. If that baby ends up looking like him or myself, there won't be any problem. Like myself, my son is a very attractive man. I do think that my husband has a very good looking face, but does he really look that much like you in terms of facial features? What do you say? No matter how, which way you look at his face, he looks just as beautiful and similar to me. Back when I was around your guy's age, I was being called a model left and right by all those that saw me. Is that so? That's really cool, I guess. It sure is. I was being asked out by all kinds of men, to the point it became annoying for me. But because of all that, I was able to lend myself a man whose dad is the CEO of a very large company. This whole time, him and I have never had to worry about money. And unlike yourself, his face happens to be very handsome looking. I suppose so. The face is one of the most important parts of a person's worth. As long as your face looks good, then your life will be okay, right? And the parent is responsible for how their baby is going to look as well, whether they're ugly or beautiful. If that baby is ugly, will you be able to take responsibility for that? Would you please stop saying things like that to me? I don't think the only thing that matters in this world is just a person's looks. No matter how our baby looks, my husband and I will love them the same way. Judy, I've had the baby. I just sent you a photo of them a second ago. Did you have a look at it yet? I did, in fact, have one look at it. But I deleted that photo the moment I laid eyes on it. You've really gone and done it now, Hannah. What? What are you talking about? That kid's face. It looks nothing like my son's face. No matter how you look at it, they look like you more than anyone else. Do you think so? They were only just born, so we're not really sure who they resemble more just yet. That flat-looking nose and those tiny little eyes both come from you. Why has this happened to us? The baby has been cursed with getting only the most horrid of genes from you. Is this really something you should be getting upset over right now? You should just be happy that the baby came out healthy and that everyone is able to see them. But the fact that the baby is that ugly, they would have been better off being stillborn. And it's a girl as well, right? The only thing that's important to a girl is their looks. And this baby is the worst looks I've ever seen. I think that my daughter's face is cute. I love the way she looks. How the hell is that cute to you? You must have some very bad eyesight. Let me just say, Judy, 
Right now you're being a real jerk, and that comment about her being better off as a stillborn has got me a little bit distressed. I sent pictures of her to everyone else in the family, and they are all calling her cute. Maybe it's your eyesight that's bad. How much of an idiot are you, Hannah? They are all just holding back their desires to tell you the truth. However, I'm kind. I would never lie to you about your baby. I'm telling you the truth. Well, you keep going on about my baby like their life is over because they don't fit your definition of beautiful. I think you're being way too biased right now over a baby that was only just born today. Also, I don't really care that you keep making fun of my face. But don't you dare continue talking about my daughter that way. If you continue to call her things like ugly and worthless as she gets older, I will have to take matters into my own hands with you. Is that right? I don't think you can do anything about me, actually. Do you have any idea how much of a jerk you sound like right now making comments like that about people's looks? If you keep that kind of childish behavior up, I'm going to have to do something about you. I might have to really distance myself from you, Judy. I don't care that you're part of the family. There are right things and very wrong things that can be said, and you need to learn that. You hold it right there. Are you preaching to me right now? Even though you're my daughter-in-law? I don't give a crap about who you are to me. This is me preaching about how a woman your age should be acting. How a human should be treating another human. If you think you can just go around making fun of others like that no matter who they are, then we're going to have some real problems here. But what do you think you're doing being so rude to your mother-in-law? I knew that you ugly people tend to have the worst attitudes as well. I'm going to make you regret ever talking back to me like that. Hannah? Are you still awake? Yes, I'm still awake. What do you want from me this late at night? Damn it. You're really still awake right now? <laughs> if you're still waiting for my son to come home, you're just wasting precious sleep. He might not even make it home until at later tomorrow. The guy isn't working late or anything like you might be expecting. Judy, what are you talking about right now? Recently, your husband has been coming home from work later and later in the night, right? Yes. You're right about that, but... You're saying that it's not due to him having to be at work? My son is another lover now. And because of that, he will no longer come back to a house where some ugly woman and child are living. Excuse me? Right now, my son is more interested in a younger and far more beautiful woman. So due to that, no matter how late you stay up waiting, he will not be coming home tonight. As of right now, those two are in a very expensive hotel suite room, having the most fun a new couple could possibly have. Why would someone like you know about all of that? Because I'm the one that introduced that young woman to him. And within an instant, my son was all over her. So it just goes to show how unhappy my son was with you. What are you trying to do here? We still have a baby daughter at home, and you're over there trying to destroy your son's family? I'm not destroying something that was never doing too well from the start, right? My son does not need some family that is made up of an ugly mother and her disgusting-looking daughter. My son will be making a new family with a very good-looking woman now. Then my son will be able to make a much cuter-looking child with her. You have no right doing something like that to your son's family. Is this all because we were trying to get farther and farther away from you? But I was not wrong about what I had brought up earlier, right? There is proof of me being correct about all of that right before our eyes. My son is in love with someone else now, because she is younger and better looking than you. And all that was needed to get there was me giving him a little help. But the part that I was right about, and that allowed him to start going out with her, is her face. The face is the most important feature of any woman, and the better looking they are, the more powerful they are. Are you saying then that my husband has completely forgotten about my daughter and I? That would mean he just left his daughter right after she was born. Don't tell me my son is being inhumane or anything like that. <laughs> it's your fault for being clueless this whole time and bringing an ugly child like that into this world. Did you really think I would let you be my son's wife with how ugly you look? I like to think that my husband still loves me more than you might think. There's no way he does. <laughs> you were destined to be thrown away by him. And I just helped make sure that destiny was fulfilled sooner rather than later. We will get all the divorce paperwork filled out for you, so just sign it and then leave it at the house. I will not let you get away with this. You are a monster. What are you going to do about it then? You need my son to pay you a settlement or something. I can make that happen for you, if you want. My family would never be hurt by losing a couple grand to a woman like you. After all, my husband happens to be the brand new CEO now. What the hell is wrong with you? Do you not feel bad at all for any of what you've done here? I'm just doing what a mother must do for her child. I found my son a woman who was perfect for him, and he's happy because of that now. He has been happy with me this whole time, but now you've gone and ruined that for him. The only one that was happy in your relationship was you, because you got to be married to a handsome man, right? We were all sad here. 
You should be thankful we went through years of sadness, all so that you could live out your dream for a little bit. I'll pay you for the trouble later, so please, get out of my son's house. And what about our newborn baby? Who will be her father later on? Just go find another man to make her father. But just make sure that this next time you stay in your lane and aim for a man that's as ugly as you are. There has to be a man out there the same level of ugly as you, right? <laughs> Have you still not left that house yet? Did you forget about what I told you yesterday or something? My son has a new lover who is gorgeous. Therefore, he no longer needs an ugly wife like you. Take that ugly child with you and disappear. Would you shut the hell up, you freaking bitch? Who the hell are you calling ugly? The only one that should be called ugly here is the bitch who would do something as disgraceful as you have. Huh? What the hell? What makes you think you can talk to me, your mother-in-law, like that? You're not my mother-in-law. You're my wife. What? Is that you, Justin? Hold on a second, Hannah. Why are you trying to act like you're my husband right now? I'm not Hannah. It's me, you idiot. I took her phone from you so I could sit you straight. It's really you? Justin? That's right. So now, are you gonna tell me what the actual hell is going on here? You gave our son a new lover? What the hell is going on in that empty head of yours? Why are you with her right now? I already heard about all that happened here. Why have you done something so embarrassing and reckless to my family? Because Hannah is not fit to be a part of our family. And her baby's face looks just like hers. I will not believe for one day that that child is our grandbaby. Who do you think you are to say things like that? Before you start to talk bad about others' appearances, what about yours? Have you been looking in a freaking mirror lately? What's that supposed to mean? You seem to have a lot of confidence in that face of yours, huh? All that talk about you being so beautiful is just a thing of the past now. Do you know how fat you've gotten after 30 years, woman? You think you can start judging other people's looks when you're the size of a car? My body weight shouldn't matter right now. After having kids, women are known to become a bit larger. I don't think having our son had anything to do with that. I think the fact that you've been eating like a pig all the time and laying around the house, that played the biggest part in your size and looks. And all that expensive makeup you try to cover it all up with isn't working. The only reason you can't even tell any of this about yourself, though, is because you're too self-centered. Wait, Justin. That's mean. I never wanted to judge anyone by their appearance like what you've been doing, and I won't ever do it again. But today I had to make an exception because you were trying to act as though you're some kind of a goddess, and that you have the right to talk to my daughter-in-law and her baby without a heart. You are not in the position to talk about how others look, you woman. Before you start to complain, maybe lose a couple hundred pounds and fix those dang wrinkles first. I am in my 60s now, so I don't have to worry about myself. When I was young, I looked amazing, and you and I have had wonderful marriage because of it. You think our marriage has gone well? <laughs> to be honest with you, I regret making you my wife. I do not want to hear that from a man who, like you, looks like they could be in their 90s right now. Also, I'm being honest by saying that Han and her baby are both hard to look at. Well, I don't understand what about those two is so hard for you to look at. Especially when compared to you, they are both so cute. I'm sure our son is thinking the same thing as well. What do you mean by that? Right now our son is having the time of his life with a gorgeous woman. He thinks the exact same thing as me. He is not cheating on Hannah. After all this, the whole family is starting to think that you might not be fit for us anymore. What? What do you mean by that? Before Hannah came into me with talking to all this, I was talking with our boy. He told me about how you had this other woman with you that you wanted to show him. Apparently that other woman is one of our friend's daughters, right? He was shocked that you would try and hook him up with another woman when you knew that he was married to Hannah. You're kidding me. But he was so happy to see her. He was just trying to figure out what the hell was going on there, and until he figured it out, he was faking being into her. He wanted to make sure that you didn't notice him being against going out with that woman until after he had a chance to talk to me and Hannah about you. And you never noticed a thing about his true feelings, coming all the way back to Hannah to pick on her some more, while bragging about how you just set her husband up with another woman so that he could cheat on her. The only way to describe you now is brainless. What the hell? He had lied to me? And all of you have been talking behind my back? You're all jerks! All backstabbers. The only jerk in here is you, bitch. You would do all that just because you don't like our son's wife. Getting strangers involved in all this as well. There's not a single bit of love left in me for you. Wait, is that right? Well, I haven't felt any love for your old ass forever now, you grandpa. Is that right? Then there's no need for me to hold back any longer. I was thinking that I had to be responsible for you until the very end since you and I are married, but I can see now that you are not my problem anymore. I'm gonna have to end things right now between you and I. Huh? End things between you and I? End what thing? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I'm gonna do the same thing to you that you were doing to Hannah. What I did to Hannah? 
You seem to think it's okay to kick those that you don't like out of the family, right? Then I'll do the same thing then. What are you talking about, Justin? You have no reason to do that to me, right? If you do that to me, then things will not be okay. Then tell me. Do you want me to pay you a settlement or something just to get you out of my life? I can do that if you want me to. A couple thousand dollars won't hurt me or my family in any way. And I happen to be the brand new CEO after all. Oh, what the? You were saying the exact same things to Hannah before, right? Now you understand what's happening, don't you? You were asking for this to happen to yourself by trying to push this outcome onto others. I hope that there are no complaints out of you after this, considering that you would do the same thing to someone else. I... I'm so sorry about what happened this time. I've learned my lesson now. Now why are you coming to apologize to me? I have really learned my lesson, Justin. So, I would really like you to forgive me. Are you sure you're not asking the wrong person for forgiveness right now? I think the correct way of handling things is to apologize to Hannah before me. Of course. I'll be going to apologize to her as well. But recently, I haven't been able to get any replies from her. Ah, uh, that's because both her son and her have blocked your phone number. Th then why has she not even responded to me yet? I made sure they blocked you so you never have a chance to hurt those two again. I would never hurt them, though. So, what do you still want from me, huh? I want to apologize to you. Can we please make up? Please come back to the house for me. Where have you ever been these past few days? I'm not gonna tell you. Because I have no plans going back there. Wait, Justin. You and I were so close to one another this whole time, right? I don't want things to end like this. Oh, you don't? The divorce papers that I sent in the mail should have arrived to you today, huh? You must be freaking out now because the realities hit ya. Justin? I don't want to get divorced. I'm sure you don't. Without me, the forever jobless woman who hasn't worked a day in her life wouldn't be able to live on, right? Don't pick on me like that. I know now that I did some bad things to Hannah. But getting a divorce over something like that is messed up. Please, just rethink this whole thing. Not happening. I cannot deal with someone like you anymore. This divorce is inevitable now. Once you've signed those papers for me, get the hell out of my house. No way. Why do I have to be the one to leave this house? Because you're a disgrace to wives everywhere. And I am at my limits of allowing a woman like you to be called my wife and use all of my hard-earned money. If that wasn't already enough, then you've gone and hurt both my daughter-in-law and my grandbaby. Get out of my house this week. Wait, Justin. I can't get out of this house that quickly. What am I supposed to do if I have to leave your house? Your husband has told me he doesn't care about you anymore. Is that you, Hannah? Yes. What the hell have you done to me? Because of you, I'm going to have to lose my family and this house? Before you start to attack me again, how about that apology you said you'd give me? The reason your husband is leaving you is because you are messed up in the head. Well, whatever, though. I don't need your shallow apologies anyway. I have something I want to tell you now. Your son and I are not getting a divorce. However, you will no longer be considered my husband's mother and will never get to see our baby. So you can go ahead and just forget about any of us ever existing in your life. What are you trying to say? My husband is cutting ties to you. And after your husband divorces you, there will be no more money coming from any of us. My son's going to throw me away too? I won't be able to live if that happens. What is a woman like myself supposed to do on my own? How about starting by getting a gym membership? <laughs> Besides that, I can't really help you with anything else. Because you mean nothing to me. I'm sorry that I called you and your baby ugly, alright? I'll come and apologize to you on my hands and knees if you want. Just forgive me. Tell my husband and son to rethink all of this, please. I told you I didn't want your shallow apologies. Especially when you're only apologizing to benefit yourself. I've had enough of your self-centered butt. I need you to forgive me though, or else I won't be able to live on. My whole life I've been so happy, and this is how it has to end. I will not allow my life to end in sadness. Well, you can be thankful that we all allowed you to live out your dream of being married to a CEO's son, right? It'll only be the last bit of your life that's unpleasant for you, before you fade from this world. Now, would you please get the hell out of Justin's house so that he can return home? Where am I supposed to go after that, though? I have nowhere else to go, and I won't be able to live out there. You are all being terrible to me. What am I supposed to do? Would you stop crying already? <laughs> I'm having a hard time trying to figure out if you're some overfed, fat and ugly baby, or just an old and fat hat. If you really want to know what you could do next, how about finding yourself a new man? You'll have to make sure it's someone who's on your level, though, considering a man like Justin is too far out of your lane. But I think there are men out there that are just as fat and ugly as you are who'd be happy to have you. There will always be men in this world who are both disgusting on the inside and outside, and they would be perfect for you.
After that, Judy continued to apologize to her husband looking for forgiveness, but that was never ever going to come from him, so she ended up stopping. This, however, didn't lead to her leaving his house for a little while, and so Justin was still not able to come back to his house. But soon after the messages and calls to Justin stopped, things only became worse for Judy as she continued to sit in that house of his. After being a bit concerned with the fact that his wife was okay with her son being led into cheating on his son's wife, Justin went and took a further look into Judy and found that she had cheated on him. The investigation gave him a lot of evidence surrounding her cheating, and that made for a great settlement that his lawyer would take care of for him. After all of the planning had been made for the downfall of Judy, Justin went and had his lawyer tell Judy that she needed to pay a settlement in the divorce for cheating and that they had all the evidence they needed in order to prove her unfaithfulness. Justin wasn't there at the time this was told to her, but the lawyer told us that when he brought her cheating up, she broke down and started to tear chunks of carpet out with her hands as she screamed and cried. The lawyer wasn't going to have it though, so before leaving Justin's house, he had two officers come in and drag her out into the yard. They put her in the back of their police cruiser once they got her to stand up and took her to their office to tell her the same thing the lawyer did about how the divorce would take place and that she owed a settlement. And once all the explanations were over with, they told her to have a nice day and sent her onto the streets to start her new life. But because she never worked a job in her life and solely relied on money Justin had, she didn't have a penny to her name. She wasn't able to pay anything to Justin in the divorce, but as a way of making sure she'd get that money to him eventually, Justin went and got her the cheapest apartment he could find on the market. As he told us, the reason he went and gave her a place to live was because there was no way of getting money or regrets from a dead man. Right now, she is living there with the very small amount of social security she gets every month, having to give half of that to Justin and the other half to her landlord to pay her rent. Since that takes away pretty much all she gets in terms of money, she was never able to get any furniture and is having to sleep on an old mattress that was in the trash bin. For food, she gets about $20 a month to use, and that allows her to buy one large box of instant noodles that she can only eat one of per day. We all thought that Judy would try to run back to the man she was cheating on Justin with, but he was in just as bad of a place as she was in, and things were only going to get worse for him. Before long, after Justin had threatened him to pay a settlement as well, that man vanished off the face of the earth and was never heard from again. To this day, we don't know what happened to him, and Justin tells us every time we ask that he has still not gotten the money he asked for. After having lost pretty much everything in her life, Judy now lives in that rundown apartment as a recluse, never to be seen by anyone that lives around her. When it comes to my family, we have all been living very busy lives. After everything that had happened with Judy had come to an end, we asked if Justin would like to move in with us and sell his old house. He agreed with us and soon moved in to start his new life with his son, daughter-in-law, and infant grandbaby. He went and sold the house he had and got rid of all the memories he had with Judy before he came to us and handed the money he had gotten from said house to his son. Justin told him to put that money into a savings account for our daughter so that she could one day use it for her dreams. These days, they all have loads of fun playing around in the house with my daughter, and both Justin and my husband have begun to work harder in order to make more money for her future. And, in order for my husband to one day take the company from Justin, he has started to work closer with him, studying what he has to do as a CEO. Every day, Justin is letting us know that it's because of our daughter that he was able to get rid of that old parasite that was weighing him down so much. He still has regrets about ever marrying that woman, but he likes to say that if it wasn't for her, he would have never had us. I love to see my family as the most important thing to me, as they see me as important to themselves, and seeing us all gathered around to raise my daughter in a warm household will always bring a tear to my eye. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.